Good morning, good evening, good afternoon everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I am exhausted. At the end of this video I'll tell you why, but let's get straight down to business. And I haven't even started drinking yet. I've just had a shower and I've poured myself a drink, which I haven't, haven't even tried yet. But I thought, let's, I want to talk to you guys first. Uh, right, firstly, thank you very, very, very much, Trevor, for taking the time and trouble to go up to Leeds Magistrate yesterday to see this woman. Her name is, well, I'm not going to say her name. I know the newspapers say her name, but I'm not going to. Despite what she's done, I'm not going to rub her, rub her nose in it, right? Um, despite what she says about me on Twitter, she'll, do, she'll be tweeting about this afterwards. She'll say things like, Fiona just made a video and asked all her followers to report me to the judge or, you know, some shit like that, which I've never done. Um, it's, it's a world of insanity. It really is. And I really appreciate Trevor going up. Um, there was no way that Graham and I were going to fly over and go to every single pre-hearing. Um, and I had a chat with someone last night, a really good friend of mine who's American, who was like, how's this work in UK courts? And also I was talking to someone else about it. So I thought I'd, I'd sort of generally cover that because I don't want to talk about the woman's actual actions. I, I can say what the newspapers have said. And what Trevor told me, and Trevor and I are going to go live on his channel, and we're going to chew the fat about the whole thing with all of you guys. So if you're not subscribed to Trevor Cult MC, I highly recommend that you do, and that you tune in for that one because that's going to be from the horse's mouth. He was actually there. Where do I start? Well, firstly, as you all know, I'm doing up this boat, which is really exhausting. It's breaking my balls. But I do check up on what these nutters are saying. And apparently I'm not fixing up my boat. What I'm doing is I'm spending 24 hours a day on Twitter. I and a number of other YouTubers, Duchess and R Sussex, Gertie Rude, uh, Trevor, of course, Graham. We are on Twitter 24-7, creating an army of trolls for which we are all entirely responsible for. I'm not quite sure what this army of trolls is doing. Trolling the trolls, apparently. I mean, how can how can we cope with this? I've got one fella who thinks that you can sue people for defamation in the magistrate's court. He's British. And he has spoken to a lawyer. So that's what we're up against there. Same fella thinks I'm sending him subliminal messages through the camera. How can you fight that? This other lady apparently goes up in magistrate's court and I'll get to the court thing and explain a bit about that she says yes I did it I plead not guilty I want to go to the crown court where the sentencing powers are phenomenally greater than here in the magistrates so she's admitted she's done it and pleaded not guilty those are the facts of that case then there's another lunatic sugar Yes, they are sugars uh, on YouTube. Uh, thank God, a much smaller channel. Nobody watches, but I listen to it on double speed occasionally. Has now declared that Trevor and I are both exactly the same as Charles Manson. And we are training up all of you guys to go out and commit murder like Manson did with the family. And that Trevor and I will be laughing because we'll never be arrested for all the murders that you lot are going to commit. Then I've got another nutter, actually a couple of nutters on Twitter. I found one posing as a, one of us, a fairly substantial account, about 3,000, 4,000 followers. Pretends to be a Megxit channel, leaves a dollop of dog shit comment on my Twitter feed, um, all about Graham dying of cancer. And had the temerity to use the phrase cancer card. My God, what a disgusting, despicable phrase. Anyone who's ever been touched by this god-awful disease or a loved one would never, ever use the term cancer card. They always speak in the same way, these lunatics. Now, they're either lunatics or they are being paid to say this loony shit. 
Then another one comes along and says that I have done nothing since I've had my YouTube channel but attack every other YouTuber out there. So I do apologise profusely to Wally, to Trevor, Duchess of North Sussex, Lady C, HG Tudor, Neil Sean, oh, I've lost count, uh, Vintage Read, um, uh, smaller channels, uh, Shams Don't Care, um, uh, I will say, Angela Scottish View, all channels, all different styles that I've given shout outs to, given my full support to, apparently I have been single handedly attacking them, and not always in my own name, I like to form secret bots, and Graham just happened to turn on one of these lunatics that's on a live right now, and I said just turn her off, turn her off. She's like, Gertie Rude is a sugar. Gertie Rude is a sugar. Right, Gertie Rude's a sugar. I'm a sugar, apparently. You might have noticed how I worship Meghan Markle and I fight her corner and slag the royal family off all the time. So, yeah, we're sugars. You can't, you cannot deal with people who are that either ill or stupid. It just, it can't happen. And when the culmination comes to someone standing up in the magistrate's court, now magistrates in the UK <coughs> is the junior court and also the starting point for criminal, um, criminal procedures. All criminal procedures begin in the magistrate's court. They start with things like confirm your name and address. What do you plead? Guilty, not guilty. Then sometimes your lawyer and the CPS lawyer will have lots of arguments and they'll say they're far too busy and they haven't got the papers ready and they'll, the magistrates will adjourn to a future date. And that'll go on and on and on and on and on. And eventually, um, after you've given pleas, they'll say, what do you want to do? Do you want to have a trial in magistrates or do you want to have a trial in Crown Court? Now, there are three different types of criminal offences in the UK. I don't know if you guys already knew this, but I'm going to spell it out for the sugars at the back who are hard of hearing. Because I did warn all of last year and early of this year to this lady in particular, if you keep going like this, you're going to end up in prison. I think that was quite magnanimous of me, considering she threatened to put a bullet in my head and Graham's head. And blow up our boat that was another one and she also threatened to have a thug come down here and beat us up i've got all the tweets so of the crown prosecution service in humberside but no she took legal advice from her troll friends one in particular who said you can't go to prison for anything on the internet really you might want to ask one or two people who have gone to prison for things on the internet there's been quite a lot but i guess this idiot's um not from the UK, so it doesn't understand. Perhaps it doesn't happen in America. I don't, honestly don't know. So all criminal proceedings begin in the magistrates. Now, of the three types of criminal offences there are, the first one is summary only. Summary only are much less serious offences. Summary only means it'll only ever be in the magistrates. The accused, the defendant, does not have the option to ask for a jury because it's a summary only offence. Stays in the magistrates. Magistrates apparently these days have sentencing power maximum six months. It used to be 12 months back in my day, but I guess the, the law changed. I don't know. <coughs> oh, and also I'm not a lawyer, despite all of the lunatics I've already named saying, oh, Fiona pretends to be a lawyer. Fiona the fake lawyer, Fiona the fake lawyer. I mean, I, if I had the energy, I would, edit together all the times I've said I am not a lawyer. Double check everything, I may be full of shit. But I mean, if I say the sky is blue, they're gonna go, no, it's green. I mean, they're starting to drive me mad and I've got enough on my plate doing the boat. Now, the second type of offence in the UK is called an either way offence. It is more serious than the summary only and the accused defendant has a choice whether they can uh, be dealt with in the magistrates or opt for the Crown Court. Now a lot of people might think stay with the magistrates because they've only got maximum sentencing power but the problem with that is the magistrates have a great tendency of finding everybody guilty at trial. It's really difficult to get a not guilty. They're like hen's teeth, it's pretty unheard of. I mean it does happen sometimes when Haley's Comet comes past. 
And most of the circuit solicitors, the legal aid solicitors, and I'll come to the solicitors in a minute, they know this. So they usually say to their client, well, you're on an either way offence. Yes, you could try and have a trial at magistrates, but I tell you now, you're probably going to be found guilty. And secondly, because it's an either way offence, if the magistrates decide in the end, they might say, well, we found you guilty, but our sentencing powers are not great enough. Therefore, we're going to send you to Crown Court for sentencing. So there's nothing to gain, really, by staying in magistrates for a trial. It's always more sensible to say, well, I'd rather have uh, 12 of my peers, you know, jury of 12, in front of a judge. Because you have a much greater chance, because it's scrutinised. Basically, a Crown Court trial is way more scrutinised than in the magistrates. Um, and then if you if you have a chance, and, and then if you're found guilty, you will probably, if it was a serious either way offence, you were probably going to be sent to the Crown anyway for sentencing. None of these experiences are pleasant. The third type of offence in the UK is called indictment only. Like if you murder somebody, it's really fucking serious. You're going Crown Court. You have no choice in the matter. It will still start in magistrates to confirm name, date of birth, you know, how do you plead, blah, blah, blah. It will do all those little things because the magistrates are there to cope with the bulk of the work to help the more senior court keep things under control. Now, this lady... I didn't know it was, uh, I hadn't actually looked up the 77 Act. I've, t like I've got time. I'm so busy on Twitter, creating all these Twitter accounts. Um, so I didn't know and I thought, well, it might be summary only. I mean, to me, it sounds just a small step above a parking ticket. I don't know how the police could have thought of an, a lesser charge than, I can't remember what it is she's, she's actually been charged with. I pr probably better not get it wrong. It's something like, she misled the police into believing that maybe there was an explosive device that might hurt, might explode or something like that. And she did this knowingly that it was that wasn't true. She tweeted that. Um, if I've got the energy, I'll put the tweet up. Otherwise, I'm sorry, no, it's in a previous video. Just look up her name or, or look up the bomb hoax lady. I've got a video with the tweets on the previous one. So she's up there and then. Uh, as Trevor confirmed, and also a lot of the newspapers, I mean, she had a bit of a tussle with the judge. Apparently, this is all about some bigger issue and she has questions and stuff. And the judge said, look, we're not here to deal with all that. You're not going to use the court as a platform. What the court is here to do is the CPS are going to try and prove your guilt beyond reasonable doubt. And if they succeed in that, then you're convicted and then you'll be sentenced. Now, she also didn't have a lawyer, apparently, and I don't know why that would be. Now, there is a thing called the unmet need. The unmet need is basically people, and it's very, very unfair, actually. If someone is really quite poor, you get legal aid, what you used to. I don't know if the legal aid rules have been changed, but this was the rule before. If your income was, like, really low, you got legal aid, free solicitor, <laughs> one of the duty solicitors who are actually the best. When you see on the movies, they go, oh, I got a big fancy, schmancy, expensive lawyer. That's the last thing you want because that fancy, schmancy uh, lawyer hasn't been anywhere near the magistrates in years. Whereas the duty solicitors, they're the ones called out to the police station in the middle of the night. They know all the coppers, they know all the magistrates, they know all the clerks, they know all the defendants, they know the lay of the land and they are the best. The best. She didn't have one of them. So I'm thinking maybe she's part of the unmet need because the unmet need of the people who are not poor enough to qualify for legal aid, but they're not rich enough to pay for their own lawyer. So maybe that's why she didn't have a lawyer. I don't know. And as I say, I'm somewhat out of date. I mean, I'm going back 30 odd years to people I knew who were in the system. <laughs> or maybe she fell out with her lawyer. Maybe she had a lawyer. And the lawyer said, you can't walk into court and say you did it and then plead not guilty. And you certainly don't want to go before a circuit judge, for example, who's got the power of life imprisonment. Not that she's going to get life imprisonment, but they, they're very powerful people. They are very powerful people. However, they do not possess the ability to create peace in the Middle East, which it would appear is why she wants to be in court and maybe go to prison because she thinks somehow that statement is going to bring about peace between 
Palestine and Israel, who I'm certain don't know she exists, and even if they did, wouldn't give a crap about her and her little trial. Well, I say little trial. Now, when people plead guilty, generally speaking, and again, I'm, I, I mean, I might be out of date on this, the judge will say, I'm going to knock about a third off the sentence. Now, what she was probably looking at, if she pleaded guilty yesterday, she was probably looking at anything from a couple of hundred hours community service, possibly gone to prison. I doubt it, actually. I doubt it. She probably might have got a suspended sentence, you know, with uh, they might have put her on a two year bender saying, well, you better behave yourself on the Internet, because if you come up before the court again, a bender is when they bring back. They go, oh, well, we give you a bender for that. Now you've gone and reoffended. You're going to go down for the whole damn lot. So that's a well, it's, that's not a legal term. It's what <coughs> us in the trade back in the day would call it. You know, someone would be up before the beak or they'd be up before the bench or the, the, the um, judiciary and you'd, you'd see him in the street later and you'd go, what you go, what do you get for that? Oh, I've got a bender. All oh, right, that was lucky. How long's that last for? Two years, three years, 18 months, whatever. Well, she was looking maybe at a suspended sentence. Maybe she'd have got six months. Of that six months, she would have done three months, 12 weeks. She's 62 years old. Now, after she has right royally done that yesterday with no lawyer helping her apparently allegedly because Trevor said she didn't have a lawyer and the newspapers all said she didn't have a lawyer and I'm getting a lot of this from the newspapers we'll get a lot more deets from Trevor tomorrow um now she has opted to go to the crown court for a trial of which she'll she'll never win she'll be found guilty let's say the court play along with this and I'm not entirely sure they will or I don't actually know how they'll be able to stop it because everyone's entitled to a trial if that's what they ask for. But most people who ask for a trial don't go, yes, I did it, Your Honour, before they have the trial. I confess, not guilty. What's your defence? Me mate said to do it. That's apparently what she's going to say. I'm going to name names. Me mate said to do it. Well, peer pressure is not a defence that I'm aware of or ever was. Peer pressure is, I don't know, something you'd use in mitigation once convicted or once you've pleaded guilty. The court will ask for some mitigation, reason, explanation, and they'll take that into consideration. It's not a defence. But I guess she doesn't realise that because she doesn't have a lawyer. And don't take my legal advice because I repeat, I am not a lawyer. It's just through my life, I'm sure a lot of you guys have needed to do this as well, when you uh, want to sue someone or you have a relative who's in trouble, someone's been arrested, you know you want someone arrested, you tend to look these things up. And that's how you gain the experience of it. Or you could believe and walk through the whole of life uh, that people are sending you subliminal messages uh, from the telly, from the TV. Or you could believe that it's all a conspiracy and everyone on the internet is actually only one person who's probably Charles Manson. Actually, that reminds me, just to sidetrack a moment from this, and I'm going to come to a Meghan Markle bit about this. I've told a few people this story. My nephew, a couple of years ago, had a neighbour who was really grumpy and always like scowled at him and it didn't matter how hard he tried, he was always smiling at this neighbour. Well, he went to work and police contacted him and said we need to talk to you don't go home um your neighbor that was always scowling at you murdered the neighbor the other side of you my, my nephew was like oh my god what and they said he said why they said the thing is obviously he's been arrested for murder your other neighbor's dead and we, obviously we went into this guy's house and we found He'd made a list, a hit list, and your name was the top, but he couldn't find you because you were at work. So he killed the next one on the list, which was the neighbour, the other side. My nephew was horrified. He said, why? The police said, well, apparently, according to his crazy scribblings, every time you smiled at him, he believed that you were reading his mind. Now, I'm totally sympathetic with people with these medical conditions but I'm not a psychiatrist I'm not an expert and I don't know how to deal with this shit in real life when they they come at me and they say this crazy shit I'm Charles Manson 
Travis Charles Manson, where me and Trevor are, are no Sussex, we're subliminally talking to people that we have created an army of trolls, that all of you out there are potential murderers. I mean, God, I, I need a sip of wine, actually. I'll show you what I've done on the boat at the end of this. And then I'll have a, and then you'll see why I'm tired, because it's nothing to do with this lady, why I'm tired. And it's actually nothing to do with the work I've had to do on the boat. It's fighting people to get the bloody resin. And no, no, it hasn't arrived yet. Anyway, um, so where was I? Oh, yeah, I told you about my nephew. So, I mean, there are people out there. They're ill, they're paranoid. Um, they they have their delusions and stuff. And fair enough, and I fully support that, as long as they're not dangerous, to wander around in the world and do that. It's when they begin affecting other people's lives, like murdering them. Not that I'm suggesting any of these nutters of murderers or this lady in court. I mean, I think maybe she's just really stupid. Oh, not stupid, that's the wrong word ignorant she is ignorant completely ignorant of the law and has made literally no effort to understand the shit she is in now that it has been transferred to crown court and it has she's looking up the double barrel shotgun of potentially two years in my uneducated opinion uh, she may get considerably longer than that for fucking the court around for ones of a better expression and i reiterate the good people of palestine and Israel probably are never going to get to hear about this, despite the fact she feels she's a globally tortured creature. I mean, where the hell I come into it, or Graham, or Trevor for that matter, or any of us? You know, none of us, well, I don't talk about those subjects because that's political, it's personal, it's complicated. I am nowhere near educated enough to even tackle it, and I wouldn't dream of it. I wish every human being on planet Earth health, wealth and happiness. I don't like war. I don't like violence. There are reasons here, there, everywhere. But it's not a subject I've ever tackled. So what is her fucking problem? Well, I'll tell you. She loves Meghan Markle. My God. I went through getting some more screen grabs for the old Crown Prosecution Service last night. And, and there's a lot about Meghan. Oh, I love Meghan. I love Meghan. Now, this brings me to the Meghan Markle part. Yesterday, while we were waiting for to hear from Trevor, I thought, I'll just Google this lady. There probably won't be any new news items because th that was a month ago, first hearing, but there'll be a ton of them after this one. Well, blow me. MSN, I think it's Microsoft News, who are one of the usual suspects who love to do puff pieces. <laughs> also, Yahoo News, who used to work for Yahoo. Was it Omid Scobie? Well, they were both seriously playing it down. Oh, this woman's going to turn up in court. Oh, but all the charges will be dropped. Oh, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's going away. Why do publications that are, as I say, the usual suspects for puff pieces, why do they give a crap? This woman also posted a photograph of Ian Sexton getting married, I think in the UK, quite recently. I think Ian Sexton follows her and all the other troll accounts. Uh, what's going on here, everybody? Is somebody worried? Then, I mean, last month when the, this first came out in the papers, this lady had been in court. The first few newspapers that hit, like Le the local Leeds paper, they said that next hearing's on the 7th of October. Well, after a few days, including the Daily Mail, they lied. Oh, sorry, they misremembered. They got the date wrong. They said, no, it's the 10th. I said to Graham, no, it's the 7th. They're hoping to throw us off the scent. And if you go through, if you search this bomb hoax Buckingham Palace woman and you search the articles yourselves and compare, some of the articles are like, this woman's in the shit. I can't believe she walked into court and went, I didn't. I Yeah, I did it. I did it. I tweeted it. 100%. Not guilty. Me mate said to do it. Right. And the other publications that can be pretty kind to Meghan and Harry. Not that I'm implying that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would have any influence here or be worried about anything. I'm sure they won't. Um, well, they play it right down. Those puff piece type people play it right down. Oh, bomb. Bomb's just, it's just a little thing, isn't it? It's, it's hardly anything. Oh, she'll just get fine. They'll drop the charges. Funnily enough, they use very same lingo as these weird sugars, like the ones I described at the beginning of the video. Anyway, that's enough of that because I don't want to give away too much. Trevor, 
<laughs> I'm going to interrogate Trevor because I haven't actually interrogated him yet. We've deliberately not done that because he's, I mean, he's having sensory overload with everything he saw and heard. So I think probably tomorrow he's going to do a live and then we can all interrogate him and pick his brains a little bit. Right, let me show you what I've done, if I can. And why, oh, good grief, went back to the shop. Have you ordered the resin? Oh, it hasn't arrived yet. I know what that means. He forgot. He didn't, well, never mind. So Graham, bless him, drove me all the way across town through traffic. I went to the other Chandler's where they sell the resin. No, out of stock and we've no intention of getting any more in the future. What? You're a marine Chandler's? You do know that, oh, this is the other thing. This is another bit of lunacy about one of the sugars. They said, <laughs> you can't make a boat out of fiberglass and resin. It will melt in the sun. <laughs> oh my God. This is what we're up against, people. You cannot reason with that level of, I'm sorry, thick as pig shit. Oh, my gran used to say, I know it's an Oscar Wilde thing, but my gran used to say, Better be thought a fool than open your mouth and prove it. And I actually preferred my grand's version to, I think it was Oscar Wilde. There you go, I'm showing my ignorance. Um, right, so yeah, so then we went over there, no resin over there, then we've got to fight traffic, come all the way back. The people arrive in our house tomorrow and he requested the sofa bed, which is not normally available. That took me another fucking two hours to clean that. But that's okay. Then we stopped off at the other Marine Chandler's and I bought a, the smallest pot of resin. Actually, the last pot of resin in the whole fucking town. It was like this big. It was just enough for me to seal my windows. Oh, I'll explain what happened last night. And I had to pay 40 odd euros for that because you pay through the nose for the little ones. But I thought it's got to be done. Right, I'll show you. Now I've done all that. Oh my God, I bet you're all thinking, shut the fuck up, Fiona. What the fuck are you going on about? And a big fight on Twitter last night with these other trolls. And they and they're, 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 it's the same person because they have the same terminology. They use the same pictures. They do the same thing all the fucking time. I wonder who it could be. Oh, I wonder what it's like in Montecito. Only joking, Megan, only joking. Right, so we've got the windows here. Now, what I've done <laughs> since you saw them last, Obviously, you have to use the mat with the resin, and that's basically what makes a boat, even though the sugars don't, I don't know what sugars, yeah, there's wooden boats, metal boats, aluminium boats, you can even get concrete hulls. But the majority, if I just glance around this marina, let's, let's just have a look together, guys. Ah, uh, yes, uh, I think what I'm seeing is mostly fiberglass boats, which is made of fiberglass mat and resin in boat builders, usually. Um, I must alert all the other boat owners that the sugars, the lunatics, the thickest pig shit, whatever the hell they are, uh, they said their boats are going to melt. They're going to melt. That's it. Anyway, so this is made with um, resin and, and matte, but then obviously that's not a particularly nice finish. So what I do is I use a, a nice filler and I take my time and get a really nice shape. Now, the rains have been due to come. But I really didn't think it was going to rain yesterday and guess what? Yes, it rained and then the, the, the filler that I'd used was not entirely waterproof. I thought oh, I don't need it because then I would put more resin over the top to seal it in. Well, it rained last night, didn't it? Bugger me. Anyway, it, it turned out all right in the end. It didn't destroy it too bad. I had to touch it up a bit this morning and then with the smallest pot of paint, uh, pot of resin in the world mixed with paint, I then had to tape up these windows. They've got to be taped up every single time for different applications to build it up. And then I've sealed it. So it can rain all it bloody well likes now. And the other thing I did, <laughs> I don't think Graham filmed this actually. We, we did this whole roof, this one in resin years ago. <laughs> and we think what happened is that sometimes you get a bad reaction, you get a reaction in the mix, and it will just never go off. It's like Vesuvius, it just keeps creating stickiness. Anyway, a split developed in the roof through the fiberglass um, about 10 years ago, and it's never grown, it never got any bigger. It's just, I put a wrap over it and it split through the wrap. If I paint it, you know, it just breaks through. So I thought I was gonna cut it out and then fill it with filler 
Um, and then obviously this, the, the whole boat's going to be matted, the whole thing. Um, but I just thought, sod it, I'm not going to cut it. I'm not going to all that effort with the little circular saw, which is quite dangerous. I thought I'll just screw the, screw it down and it'll never come up again. And then I'm going to mat over it. And that will be the end of that matter. So I'll show you my beautiful drilling. And then the drill bit broke on me. And I was like, Graham, go and help me. And he was like, oh my God, this really isn't your day, is it? But there you go. Look at that. I hope you can see that. I've put about eight screws in and that is going nowhere. I was actually waiting for him to say to me, Oh, you've drilled holes in the roof, the rain will come in. But I mean, that split's been sticking up for 10 years. I think it was actually what happened when we were in the last marina and the bow line broke and the whole 20 odd ton boat was going fuck off on the concrete pier. I think that's when that split actually appeared. I don't think it is a chemical reaction. It was just further damage. I haven't even shown you this side. God, we're not doing that till next year. You won't believe it. That's even more storm damage, but We've ordered the new window, so anyway, there you go. I didn't think you'd really want to hear about my boat. I thought you'd be more interested in this woman. And the other thing is, once a lot of the little moronic sugars had got to grips, because one of them said, oh, if you plead guilty, then you just, uh, sorry, if you plead not guilty, you go straight to sentencing. And they're almost as dim little followers had to explain, no, if you plead not guilty, you get a trial usually in any country, in any legal system. No, it's if you plead guilty, then you go to sentencing. Will we be going to the ultimate trial? Yes, that's the plan at the moment as we speak. Let's see what happens. There's a hearing on the 5th of November, I think. I think 5th or 7th, something like that. A pre-trial hearing. And as I said at the beginning of this video, there'll be a lot of hearings before they get to a trial. It's a big thing to organise a trial. <laughs> They'll have to find a date for the court. You know, courts are busy. They've got lots of defendants to deal with. Um, I bet they're loving this woman. I reckon, personally, and this is just a guess, I bet she did have a lawyer and they went, you, you get lost, I'm not standing up in the court helping you do this. You are literally shooting yourself in both feet at once. I mean, but, and I would have loved to have been in the court with Trevor to see the look on just to see the look on the judge's face like is this for real what the hell is this standing in front of me well welcome to our world judge welcome to our world the lunacy and stupidity of the sugars they've been getting away and this woman is a sugar I mean you go and have a look at her social media she loved Meg and oh Megsy Megsy oh I love Megsy um they they get away with this on social media I always knew it wouldn't wash in front of a judge. I can't wait till she's up before a circuit judge. Anyway, that's enough swearing from me. And uh, I'm, I'm off to get pissed and have a nervous breakdown. See you tomorrow on Trevor's channel. I don't know what time it's gonna be yet. We'll, we'll work that, the details out later. Thank you very much for listening and putting up with me.